blitzes and signing people up understand that each and every card we bring in, each and every new member represents a lot of work. You've got to talk to people, you've got to explain to them the importance of union membership. Um, and so 2,500 new members in the course of the year is a very ambitious uh, goal, and nevertheless, that's what we say. Um, we set the goal of recruiting, training, and mobilizing a network of stewards and activists at each location to build a union and take action on, on members' issues of concern. Uh, and so the idea is we wanted to have stewards. Uh, union stewards are uh, members of the union who are in the workplace, who volunteer to represent their coworkers and, uh, in uh, grievances and, and issues in the workplace to help to build the union. Um, and then we have our activists, who we call our ROCs. Recruitment and organizing coordinators. Um, and our ROCs are the people who are uh, signing up their coworkers to be members, building activism, building strength in the workplace. And our, our goal was to recruit um, and uh, bring online large numbers of, of stewards and ROCs. Fundamentally, we intended to reorient the entire organization to focus on union work. Uh, training members and staff on how to uh, organize, um, and we we undertook this strategy of blitzes. Um, and, and when we uh, when we have these blitzes, we uh, we go out on each uh, on a particular campus for a week or two, and we blitz the place, um, talking to our members, getting them involved. Uh, the purpose is to establish the union's presence in the workplace, communicate with large numbers. Uh, let's see if it spins for too long. We <laughs> communicate with large numbers of, of our employees regarding contract and raises and their rights at work. Um, identify issues of workplace concern. You know, when you talk to the members, you find out what their problems are. And then that means you've got a lot more work to do as the union in order to help uh, organize the members to solve them. Recruit new members and activists. Um, and so this is the uh, this was our, our kind of template for how we were going to accomplish this. Uh, so what did we do? What have we done? The start of the year, we did two union building trainings where we trained our members on how to uh, build a union and organize their coworkers. We hired four full time organizers uh, for the union, uh, whose main goal is to build the strength of the union, communicate with the members, uh, uh, and get them signed up to membership and activism. And we asked our staff representatives, who were already hard working on the grievances and the representation work, to spend a significant amount of their time on union building activity. And fundamentally, we believe, based on our new vision of the union, is that there, that everything we do is aimed at building the union, even our grievances, even. Um, and, and so, the fundamental change that we're making is that um, no longer, if there's a workplace problem, do we solve it only by filing a grievance or writing a letter or taking legal action, although all of those things are um, tools that we have at our disposal. Fundamentally, we deal with workplace problems by organizing our members to take action together in the workplace on these issues. And we'll be talking about some of the ways that we have done that. So um, we've also relied more and more on our rank and file members who come out from the workplace as lost timers and, uh, and volunteers to participate in blitzes and other union building activities. And so we've had a series of blitzes. We have now, as of October, blitzed every single location in the system. Um, and uh, in our blitzes, we've involved all of our staff and dozens of rank and file activists. Um, this is a picture from uh, UCLA um, blitz. That's, that was our team. And we have conducted follow-up blitzes at UCLA and UCSF, so those two key locations, and I say key because of the, the sheer size, those are our two largest. Um, UCLA is about 3,000 people we represent. UCSF is about 2,000 people we represent. That's a significant proportion of our overall membership. So we've conducted uh, second blitzes at, uh, at UCLA and UCSF. And we will talk to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sometimes it's like talking to a, a statue. Yeah. Our, blitzers, our blitzers will talk to anybody. Um, that's I'm not sure. Yeah, that's Mark Twain. And by the way, uh, 
talking to Mark Twain there is Jose, uh, who is uh, who is our newest uh, organizer. Uh, he comes from the rank and file at UCSF, and Jose couldn't be with us today because of the family obligation. But we're very pleased to have him um, on board. Um, and uh, that's Sam, who uh, who is here, and uh, Sam's got a brand new baby at home, and it's with us anyway. Anyway, sometimes it's like talking to a statue, but eventually we get through. Um, um, so what do we do on our blitzes? And, uh, you're not doing right. No. He's got earth-shattering news he wants to tell people. <laughs> okay. Um, in, a, in a few minutes, Maria's going to be talking to us about her experience on the blitzes. So what do we do on our blitzes? We... Uh, we concentrate a large proportion of our staff and lost timers on a single location. We talk to unit members in the workplace in order to inform them of their rights and raises in the contract, find out their workplace concerns, and ask them to become full voting members of the team's groups. Um, let, uh, let me ask a question. Uh, uh, who, who here has been on one of our blitzes, even for a day? Raise your hand. Wow. Look at that. Most everyone in the room. That's fantastic. Our blitzing strategy has been very successful, and we're going to look at, you know, look at, the, at the numbers. Um, uh, is is Callie? Yeah, Callie. You want to say a word about the, the, about the blitzes? Yeah. Okay, so, so, Ka so first I want to tell you that Callie, yes. this Callie Wilson from San Francisco, okay. um, came off of her job for six weeks in order to participate wow. in the blitzes at Berkeley and San Francisco and to, uh, as part of our pilot program, where we are training our rank and file members to be uh, organizers by taking them out of, uh, for some uh, longer period of time and, and do on-the-job training as an organizer. Callie did a fantastic job um, in this capacity out on these places. And we want to keep that out. Callie's going to tell us a word or two about her experience on the, on the blitzes. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the ones at uh, UCSF that took um, a 30-day leave, and I was first faced with um, the Berkeley Blitz, and I was kind of nervous going into it because it's my first time, you know, um, getting involved in the union so much. So I got some really good training. I got some uh, really good organizers showing me how to do this, how to approach people, how to talk to people. And so I got that done, we got that going, and then here comes UCSF. Um, I learned a lot, I learned a lot. I got to go out and go to different parts of UCSF that I really didn't know really existed, like certain parts of General and certain parts of uh, Parnassus, and meet people. And that was one of my things that the highlight is, is meeting people and just knowing, letting them know that we're here, we're Teamsters, they're Teamsters. I encountered a bunch of people who didn't really know that they were part of a union. Some people didn't even know that um, there was a fair share coming out of their check. So this is one of the things that, you know, I talked to them about. I talked to them about becoming a voting member, you know, how important it is, how important, you know, our, our races are, and, you know, being appreciated for the work that we do. Because there are people out there who aren't represented, and they get taken advantage of, you know, and that's not fair, you know, that's not fair at all. Um, I also went to a women's conference um, in that time period too, and one of the things there that stood out for me is one of the workshops, it was, it was called Work Shouldn't Hurt, mm -hmm. and that's true, you know, work shouldn't hurt, nothing should hurt, you know, whether it be in our work lives or in our personal lives. There should be a no abuse anywhere. So, you know, I just want to encourage everyone, you know, to, to talk, to communicate, to talk to one another, encourage those who don't, you know, know that much about the union, you know, so that's it, that, that was my, my highlight. <laughs>